This game, I think most people have never heard of because it came out in 1989. And for some reason, I decided to do this one because, well, you'll see pretty shortly why I plan to do this one. It's brought to us by Tecmo of 1989. Ugh, yeah. It is a dark time indeed. And we shall get a vengeance! So in Tecmo Night, or Walfang well, as we like to call it. You are two warriors taking vengeance on the very monsters that destroyed your village. So without further ado, Let's go kick some ass. Yes, heads will come flying off. Oh yeah, did I mention that this game is pretty violent? If I have not mentioned this, I'm sorry, but this game is pretty damn violent. Just heads just come flying off and... Constantly breaking shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't mention this game is pretty violent. And you can change into either you can either ride a tiger or a titan. Or even Ride a dragon. Or become the dragon. Now, I don't know how the hell they managed to get King Kong, but, um... He's going away now. Oh, yes. And you can also do cool things like these. But yeah, it could tear heads off and oh my goodness, you can also do this. Electric hell bitches. Damage and electric hell bitches. And for those who have not heard of it, well, consider yourself schooled in the fine art of 
Ultra violence. Yeah, these are one of those games that actually never got around to see the light of day. I'm actually surprised that... Well, okay. Not really surprised. But Tecmo did some pretty good games back in his day. Some over-the-top uber, uber violence type of games. I mean, there isn't much I can tell you, but man, it's as violent as it can get, and it just doesn't stop there. That's probably one of the main reasons why I picked the dri the tiger. Because you can do that. Around, around I go. Where he gets cut. Hell, like I know. But yet, that's one of the reasons why I say I kind of like using the tiger because you can do that and just just chain. It's like Golden Axe, except except that you have mounts that you can stay on for as long as you like. Oh, so many guys to take on and yet so many heads to drop. Oh, it's just great. It's just awesome. I guess you can play as a titan, so. If you just want that power, I say go for the titan. Just, just for the power. Just knock some heads off. Oh, yeah. Look at that, just... Yeah, pretty violent.
like I said, I prefer having the tiger. Just because of the sheer speed and brutality of it all. Eh. Plus, come on, look at that. Just look at that. Heads are falling off everywhere. Like, who doesn't like that? You know, if Conan was as violent as this game, if he was fighting demigoblins like these, I'd really get into Conan a little bit more. But yes, you can jump on top of certain enemies. But then again, this is why I get the um, Tiger for. Just because I'm more accurate with the Tiger than with the Titan. Wow, we are facing Medusas, and look at that, just... Want some head, bitch? Oh, I thought you liked giving head. You don't like getting head? Ugh. Don't you just love that? I know I do. <laughs> and that's why they call it Wild Thing. Do 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 do. I kind of imagine if He-Man actually went this route, that would have been pretty awesome. Yeah, for the power types, yeah. Because, yes, you can indeed just jump on top of them. Get the hell out of here, Kong. Really, you're in the wrong game. Well, I tell you, man, you're in the wrong game, man. Yes, we shall call him Genghis Kong. Oh yeah, it's dragon time, bitch.
Yeah, it's one of those over the top games that just came out in the eighties and kinda wanna relive this moment. Should really be using my analog. Why am I using my D pad? You with the bombs. Stop it. This is what will happen if. Golden Axe just went a little bit darker than it was. Oh yeah, just knock people knock people's heads off. I mean, literally knock someone's block off. I think it's time for you guys to meet the tiger. And you wonder why I like the tiger in some boss battles. Because I like to be accurate. And accuracy counts in some games. Just saying. Just saying. We're in round four now. Oh, I simply love this tiger. If I had a choice between which one I enjoy to m enjoy more, it'd be the tiger. I'm kind of wondering, how can you see with all that blood on your face? Oh, wait, you can't. Ah, oh, son of a bi- Still got a cross off. Off goes your head! can't see? Oh, I'm so sorry.
I've already dealt with you guys last round. You're back again? You know what I say? Off goes your head! Yes, off goes your head. I'm not the Red Queen. But I will say, off goes her head. Thank you! I can always use more morale. I say to that, I say to you, sir, off will go your head. Just because. I see you can't see, sir. I am so sorry. Wait, no, I'm not. Come here. All you have is a boomerang. And off goes your head. To everybody else, yes, off will go your head. So round five. We're practically near the end. And it's time for you to meet the Titan again. And as you can see, this is a pretty dark, and I mean dark, video game for its time. Kudos to Tecmo, because I mean really. Nope. Heads are gonna, heads are gonna roll, man. Literally, heads are gonna roll. Ah, uh, this must be the Medusa of all Medusas. I think I think I brought the gore to the kingdom. And everybody is displeased. And boom goes the dynamite.
Keep telling you, man. Heads are going to roll, man. Decapitation. Dark Age style. You, sir, we need to have a talk. Yeah, see? That is how you're supposed to take care of a boss. Just jump on their heads, like so. And literally knock their blocks off. Now, even though it's a mini boss, still. That's how you're supposed to do it. Heads come flying off. Oh, yeah. Just. Because if you don't like it, oh. Off of your head! And I do mean off of your head, sir. So many heads being broken off. Because broken is broken. Oh, yeah. Everything around here is getting broken off. It's not getting broken off. It's getting broken off. Genghis Kong, you again. Off will go your head, bitch. And off will go your hand, too, if you're not careful. Fine. Oh, hi there. Oh, yeah. Hi there. Yeah, I suppose we can call this the end balls here. Or this ugly looking thing, yeah, um. Well, there's only one thing I gotta do. I got to jump. And cut this goddamn thing off. And with that goes the evil thing that has been threatening our people and that's it that was Walt Fang aka Tecmo Knight 
Brought to us by Tecmo of 1989. For a game that sure as hell was violent as that, I'd say, God damn. Just literally, God damn. So on that note, I think that will do it for <laughs> I think that'll do it for this game because really how much more violence can you get from said game? I mean, really, this these are the kind of games that ju that should be brought back, just because, just for the sheer what the fuckery of it all. And the final boss seemed so damn easy because all you had to do was break that pus and then break the horn and. Pretty much, that was it. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this feature. As there is something deep and dark stirring in the next few minutes because I plan on breaking everything that you've ever known and loved about me. So, please, stay tuned for that. So, whew, in the, until the meantime, indeed, hello and goodbye. Hello and goodbye, indeed. Man, that was some strong shima they were smoking, man. I tell you what, man. God damn. So, I'll see you next time. For I am out. And so is this game.